Now, the same way that you can delete individual files, you can delete an entire folder of files. Here I have a folder called My Files, and inside here I have three files. And instead of deleting each file individually, I know that I no longer need this folder and any other files that are in it, so I can delete the entire folder if I like. Now, to delete the entire folder, I can click on it once, and I can right-click or I can control-click on a Mac, and I can come down here and I have two options. I have an option to empty the folder and I have an option to delete the folder. Now the option to delete the fold to empty the folder will delete all the files that are inside the folder but keep the folder. Delete the folder will delete the folder and all the files that are inside of it too. Now that's one way in which you can delete a folder. The other way is if you click on the folder and you see this trash icon up here. If you click on that you will delete the folder and you'll also get this warning telling you that you're about to delete the folder and all the contents of it that folder. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to delete the folder and you'll see that it's gone. But if you remember from the previous video there is a way in which you can show all the files that have been deleted. So if I place a check mark here on show deleted I'll see that I have my folders folder here and all the files are in here. Now you'll notice that on the folder by itself, if I right click, there is no way to undelete the folder. It's either rename the folder, empty the folder, or delete the folder again altogether. Well, what you can do is if you reveal the files that are in here, you can restore just one of the files and it will restore the folder too. So let's say that I want to get my attendance list and agenda back. All I need to do is click on that file and then right click or control click and then come here and select undelete. Okay, the moment I do that, I'll see over here in the status that the file is now available, it hasn't been deleted. If I take the check mark of, uh, off of uh, show deleted here, I will see that my file that reads my file, my folder that reads my files is back, and so is that one file that's in there. So by recovering just one of the files that's inside the folder, we'll recover both the file and the folder that stored those files in it. Now you can recover more than one file at a time if you like. Here I have this folder here and I have this file here, this logo file and this other file here that I want to recover. I can select both of them here by clicking once on one and then pressing shift and selecting the other or I can press the command key or the control key on Windows and select individual files. Once I've got the file selected, I can right click and then I can select undelete. And it will undelete all those files. So now I have all three files undeleted. If I take the check mark off of show deleted, I will see that the folder and all the files that were inside that folder now have been undeleted.